Hello. And welcome back to Trials. It has been a week. We weren't able to stream this weekend because of the heat wave. Was a 102 up in Vancouver, Washington, which I'm sure to people in other parts of the world sounds like nothing. It is nothing to them, but uh, yeah, it sucked. My AC was full blast and we were not able to stream. We did a uh, movie night instead. So, between streams, this didn't happen with Trials 2, but I thought, hey, you know what? I'm having fun with this game. I'm actually going to make an effort to gold everything. And I did, up and for up into a point. I've gotten most of what has been unlocked so far. All golds. I've got a couple platinums here and there, not by going for it, just by I happen to have already gotten them. Same with the uh, Trials HD levels. I got most, mostly gold up to where we're at. Uh, we're now up to, like, the hard stuff in the game. So, probably optimistic to think that this is the final stream. We finished Trials 2 in two streams, but... Uh, oh, we got, like, three whole levels. We, we got five sets of levels left between this and Trials HD. So, yeah, we probably have at least two streams of this to go. Uh, especially because we're now on the hard levels. I'm not going to continue, like, insisting to gold everything. But, uh, I'll give it a sh I'll give it an honest shot. I see we have a few people. Hello. Uh, also new this stream that was not present in the previous stream is that, uh, I think I mentioned that we're now affiliate again. But I have a Twitch emo set up again. And Twitch has gotten more generous with their uh, emotes policy. We now have five freebies, I think. Plus five sub emotes and five animated sub emotes. Which is a lot more than was previously the case. I think they didn't used to have like free emotes at all and we only got like two sub emotes. Unfortunately, YouTube still doesn't have any free emotes at all, to my understanding. So. I can do gold for that. I can gold this one. This will be easy. 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 Okay, maybe not easy. There's a part of me that wants to, to gold everything on stream because, I don't know, it, it feels kind of too easy just to get through the levels, but at the same time doing all golds could potentially be, it would be like crash time trials all over again. That would extend the streams dramatically. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, maybe easy was uh, maybe o was overstating a little bit. It's a big jump followed by another big jump. And I think if I fault at all, it's probably going to be silver. I think uh, gold requires no faults. In most cases. And this needs momentum for this jump. Hello, Darian. Another reason I kind of want to get through these games quicker than uh, going all golds would take is that uh, we're talking about doing a multiplayer stream of some uh, Trials games. They've been on sale recently, but unfortunately, it looks like the uh, the four player, like four people playing at the same time mode is local only. There's not an online version of that. And it also doesn't seem to exist at all 
as far as we can tell in the in the latest game, Trials Rising, I think is the newest one. Yeah, Fusion is after this one and then Rising. Which is bizarre because the opening cinematic for the new one features like that. It shows multiple people riding next to each other, so I don't know. Trials Rising is a very Ubisoft game with a very Ubisoft-like UI, and I my brain can't handle it. I can't navigate it. I can't find anything in that game. I want a gold, at least the first one. I won't care about the others after this one, but we gotta gold this one. Oh, ah, uh, this could be it. <sighs> I went too far. I need momentum for this jump. Also, there's this fucking ball in the way. God, the ball killed me! That's why the ball is there. They knew that would happen. Failed bunny hop. As far as my uh, masochistic Crash 4 replay goes, I'm still in the pri. I haven't done the, uh, the any of the time trials yet. The, that's the like the really hard part of the game. The gem stuff is mostly tedious, and well, I get I guess y you really have to look up videos for a lot of those levels, as I've said. So I don't know if that counts as difficulty. I guess it does. Okay, this is it. Ah! Watch the level after this is going to turn out to be way easier. It won't. I know it won't. I said I was gonna gold it. I can't get I can't quit now. The worst part about Crash 4 is that it's not even worth it. Like, you tell people, oh, you don't have to 100% it. It's, it's, the game's not that bad. You can just get the normal ending. But then they're like, no, I won't get the real ending if I don't 100% it. And then you 100% it, and the real ending is, like, five seconds of worthless cutscene. It is the least worth video- it is the least worth it video game ending ever. Man. Did I just... I go, went over that completely last time. The struggle, which was a complete non-issue previously, has now killed my run. God damn it. Well, there's five faults. What does it even... Does it say how much... Okay, it allows me one fault for gold. I'm not gonna give up. It's the easiest game ever if you're playing it casually. I guess. It's even casual... I mean... It, I still think even casually it is the most difficult crash game. Which isn't saying that much because if you're not 100%ing it... I, I don't think crash games are that hard. Whereas, like, compare the final level of Crash 4 with all that it asks you to do. 
versus just any other crash game. There, there's a world of difference, but even so, yeah, it's also a big difference between like the completion of other crash games and Crash 4. Just getting the relics in Crash 4 is such a pain because the levels are so much longer than other Crash games. Every level is a marathon. Oh, uh-oh. That's a bad place to jump. That's a bad place to land. Here's something else that uh, has been kind of a turnoff with 100%ing this game. I say as I just went through an unreasonable amount of effort to get gold on the previous level. Uh, these games don't have achievements on Steam. And I don't know why. Because they have achievements on other platforms. Like, famously, this series got its big... It's big break on the uh, Xbox. Which, especially at the time that it hit it off, like, achievements were a huge thing on. So achievements exist for these games. In fact, they also exist on Uplay or whatever Ubisoft tried to do. They just didn't bother to put them on Steam. And that kind of kills my motivation for, uh, you know, bothering to do the completionism on them. Which I know some people are going to hear and think that's lame as fuck. I like having a record of me beating games, okay? I think that's cool. Oh, hello, pinball. This is a weird level. There's more? How much is there? End! And then this is some this is some Crash Bandicoot shit. Well, Crash 1 shit specifically. I got to stop and wait for them. I also I hit the I hit the restart all button by mistake. Whoops. As far as the uh, multiplayer stream goes, I think I'll finish this game and I'll finish the next one. Just to be sure that I have all the levels unlocked in uh, Trials Evolution and Trials Fusion is the next one. And then once I know I have that, then we'll do a... Uh, we'll get like four people together for a uh, multiplayer stream of both games. Maybe if I go fast enough, I can clear that. No, I can't clear that completely. I'm worried because if I jump off that, I go slightly too far, is all. And that keeps happening. We're not far enough. Okay, there I go. They have to have the, I think they're called Supercross, the uh, four people like riding next to each other mode. They have to have that in the, in the, in the newest game, if it's in the intro cinematic, right? I, uh, I gifted Wickersham Trials Fusion, the game after this one, because I felt if someone was going to only play one game in the series, that's probably the best candidate. Rising just has too much Ubisoft shit going on in it. And related note, I think all of these games are being uh, review bombed on Steam a bit. And I think it's because of the, uh, I think it's because of DRM stuff. I, I just, I hit it, by, <laughs> I hit it by force of habit again. See, now I'm so used to, uh, going faultless on everything to get the golds that I'm in the habit of, of starting a whole level over as opposed to going back to a previous checkpoint.
man. Uh, the minigame circus in this game was way better than the ones from Trials HD. The ones that came back. And I don't remember what the minigames were like in Trials 2. But I definitely prefer the ones that, uh... Actually, I don't even know how to quantify the ones I prefer. I'd have to look at the list again. I feel like the ones in this game and in, uh, in Fusion have more to do with riding motorcycles, though. Alright, they want three faults. <sighs> I could do... You know what? If we're that close, I'm gonna keep going for golds. The other multiplayer mode in these games is, uh, I think it's like a ghost mode. I don't know if you can play sim- I think you can play simultaneously. Where you're all just racing on the same single player track. And there's no collision or anything. Which is fundamentally the same thing as racing next to each other, really. Well, except- okay. In, uh, in Supercross, the, uh, four player mode. You're all sharing checkpoints, so I guess that's the diff- OW! There are super cross, super cross maps in Trials Rising. Well, I guess I'll have to play that one and, uh, like, unlock them. At a glance, it looked like there are a lot more of them in this game than there are in Trials Fusion. But I think that's just because I haven't unlocked all the levels in Trials Fusion, so I'll probably get more in that game. That's why I'm kind of I'm, I'm gonna put off the uh, multiplayer until I'm more through this through the series, and I have all the levels to play on. Got the fucking rafters. Yeah. I keep forgetting these are here. I hate this obstacle. The stop and wait obstacle. It is so untrials. Okay, there we go. I wonder what platinum requires. Oh, if that was faultless, that would have been platinum. Explosions. Got it. I'm also probably the only idiot who plays this game with the X button instead of the, uh, the trigger. Which I know is a bad idea. It's, it is strictly suboptimal. Because this game is like, uh, is fundamentally built around, like, degrees of difference in how much you gas. You're supposed to use the trigger and, like, how hard you press it down to, to gas to different degrees. I just don't. I'm just, I'm full throttle or nothing. Which is a great reason I'm never going to all platinum these games. I might put the effort in if there were achievements, but there aren't, so who cares? Oddly, I don't usually care about achievements too much in Steam games. But that's just because there's there's so, so many Steam games. That I guess I just, I have no illusion that I'm ever going to, like, complete my collection. 
because I have a billion games in my library that I'm never going to play. I can do that. Three faults. The golds are getting much more generous. All of the, pretty much all of the, uh, the easy and medium levels required faultless. Except Gigatrack. Gigatrack was, uh, that one was kind of annoying. That one took multiple tries, because each try is like an eight minute commitment. And I think it allowed like uh, five or six faults, even for gold, just because it was such a long level. I think I said this last stream, but it is funny just how different the soundtracks are between these games. Even the aesthetic. This doesn't have, like, the darkness and the bloom to it. But it does have that, like, that gritty realism of the brown is real thing that we talk about sometimes going on. Whereas the next game is way more, like, colorful and futuristic and has electronic stuff in the soundtrack. And it has rainbows and unicorns and wacky YouTube shit. It, it's such a stark difference between the 2000s and the 2010s from game to game. I don't like this jump. This jump sucks. Go back. Man! This- oh, That was my last fault. I can only have three. Can I go down here? I can. Yeah, that's way safer. It's slower, but that's way safer. What kills me are the, tro are the uh, trophies that require you to play online. I hate those. Especially when a game shuts down its online servers, and then it's just impossible to get ever. Any achievement or trophy that is contingent on other people to play with is just a bad idea. Jump. This fucking jump. Yes! Okay. We're still good. No, we're not good. Damn it. Oh, that was the easy one. Alright, safe. We're gonna back up every time this fucking dumpster. See, now I'm trying to be too safe, and I'm losing time. I feel like the platinum on this one is going to be mean. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to require a lot of these, like, not the safe paths that I'm taking.
Please. Ah, oh, that jump. Worst part of the level. Right here. I really hope the character customization is better in the in the later Trials games. It's it's been really lacking in these last two. No, back, back. It's 110 for platinum, but uh No, it was 110 for gold. Faultless 46 seconds. Nope, not doing that. Oh, speaking of uh, Crash 4 earlier, I found some dude on YouTube who not only got all of the dev relics in Crash 4, he also got all of the platinum relics without using the speed spin. Absolute insane person. But I guess it must be possible, just given that the dev relics are possible at all. Oh, man. I'm still kind of mixed on the speed spin. I never loved running in Crash Bandicoot. But, uh, the, the spin they added in Crash 4 is also, is just another form of annoying input. It's like, uh, it's like wave dashing in Melee, or L canceling, whatever it's called. The thing that you have to do constantly just to move around if you want to, like, stand a competitive chance in Melee. It's just movement with extra steps because it's so ubiquitous. If I remember correctly, they added running to Crash 2 in the in the remake in the Insane trilogy. And I kind of wish they didn't. It would have been nice to have a Crash game where the the way to speed run was to do the slide jumping at every opportunity. Which is kind of the same thing I just described, but it's a different form of it, damn it. And it's at least a little more engaging than just holding an R2 button all the time. Alright, I gotta hit this green roof. There we go. Nope. Uh, 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 get up. That's a trap. That gap is specifically there so that if you go full speed, you land in it. There are some levels that do that, and I hate them. That's part of the game, though. Often you don't want to go full speed in order to get the best time, counterintuitive though it may be. The general trick in this game is to stay as low to the ground as possible so that your back wheel is on the ground, building speed as much as possible. Even better if you can get your front wheel off the ground because then you're building speed with the back wheel with uh, less resistance. One seven. Oh, I was two seconds off. We're going for it. Two faults. Yeah, wheelie. Build speed. I hear someone outside the window who wants to join in. 
And then that fucking green roof every time. Roof, it's a container, but it's the roof of a container. Is there like a campaign in Happy Wheels? I never played much of it. I think I tried it briefly, but it seemed like all that the game was was user-made levels. Maybe I didn't maybe I didn't look in it very hard. There we go. That's what we want. Rear wheel only. And then I, I lose my speed because I, I let go of the gas and I miss the jump. Well, I wonder what Red Lynx is up to, if they're uh, still a studio. Unfortunately, that's something I have to ask in 2024. Hey, does this studio still exist? Have they been shut down yet? Have they been absorbed into some bigger studio for the next Call of Duty game? Or I guess in this case, the next Assassin's Creed game. I hate this. No, that jump. That's there to fuck with you. forget what time I need to be. But I don't know if I'm going to be. I think it's 110. Come on. You can do it. Yes! All events open. Uh, 52 seconds. Nah, I'm good. Red Link's Moto Jam. We, uh, we Excite Bike? Is that what we're doing? I don't think I like this. This reminds me of Trials 1. This reminds me of a lot of the, uh, the, the big, goofy Trials 1 levels, like the, uh, there's like the Snowman Mountain. I don't have fond memories of my brief time with, tri with Trials 1, which is to say the one time I streamed it. Land! Yeah, I don't like this level. This level's annoying. Ah. All right, gold anyway. I did good enough. Zero faults, one minute for platinum. Maybe we'll get another Trials game someday. If we do, 
I hope Ubisoft is as un uninvolved as possible. And I hope it's nothing like Trials, Fu Trials Rising. I don't know why, like, overly complicated, difficult-to-navigate UIs are all the rage lately. I mean, I know why. It's because Battle Pass games. And then even when a game is not a Battle Pass game, devs will take that, uh, that, that menu format and just stick it in their, their single-player game. Because, well, it's what all the other games are doing. I say with all due respect to game devs, but man... Trials Rising would have been so much better with just, like, a normal menu. a totally unnecessary speed loss. I would have just booked it if I knew that was the end of the level. Alright, one less fault and I can get gold for that. I'm gonna try to stick to all golds as long as reasonably possible. And if I fuck up really early, early in a level, then I might as well, you know, start over with no faults. The Paper Mario remake got a patch today, but I have no idea what was patched or what was changed. I would assume just bug fixes, because it's a single-player Nintendo game. That jump! Dynamite jump. I don't like it. I don't like Clifford the Big Red Crate either. There we go. Alright, we're good. 40 seconds, two faults. That platinum is doable. I could, if I tried a few more times, I could get that platinum, but I'm still, I'm still not going to worry about it. Bike stats don't actually mean a ton in this game. Each bike just kind of has a different, like, play feel. Some are better at certain things. Uh, I think I was using the... Like, the second bike in the game for a, like, hill climbing challenge. I do prefer... I do just generally prefer this one though for general gameplay I just I, I like the max speed bike I uh, recently came upon those two Dragon Ball PSA animations. The uh, Goku's Traffic Safety and Goku's Fire Brigade. Which I knew existed. I just assumed they were like 60 second videos or something. But they're actually like full little specials. I think one's like 15 minutes and one is 10 minutes. But uh, I happened upon them and I watched them just for the hell of it. 
and they're mostly what you would expect for, you know, Japanese children's PSAs. One of them is just, like, Goku going through the city, learning about traffic laws. But the second one, the fire one, is like some weird firefighter AU, where all the characters are volunteer firefighters. That I found funny about it, at least. I got a chuckle out of that. Firefighter Goku and Firefighter Roshi. Man, this Fire Force crossover was weird. Uh oh. Oh. I don't know why I didn't think that. I thought that log was like a foreground element or something. Nope. If your back wheel leaves the ground, you're done. I don't like this ramp. This ramp stinks. Who built this road? Alright, Silva, what do you want for gold? Three faults? Oh, 115. I was just a little short. At least this is better than that uh, that arena level. The one that's just bumpy shit. I'll take a level like this any day. Someone in a in one of the Smash chords today posited that uh well, you know, it seems like every Smash game gets a retro rep, so who, who, who should be the new retro rep in Smash 6? And I'm thinking, what, well, what, what qualifies as retro? Not retro studios, obviously, but, uh, like, I, I guess Melee had Ice Climbers. Those were kind of a deep cut. The game Ice Climber is not as popular as one would assume by the fact that it is in Smash Brothers. Smash 4 got, like, Duck Hunt. I can acknowledge, like, Banjo and uh, K. Rule in, in Smash Ultimate being retro, just, or N64, but they were also, like, they were campaigned for for years and years and years, so. They're not really, like, an ass pull pick like Ice Climbers. But the conversation went on, and I realized, as far as, like, uh, stuff that is not yet in Smash, there's a lot of, there's not really a lot of beat-em-up representation. We talked about, like, uh, Streets of Rage, Golden Axe, River City Ransom. There's not really a, a character like that, or a, a character from a series like that. Aside from, I guess... Well, no, uh, Kid Icarus up Uprising isn't a beat-em-up. It's like a rail shooter, right? No! Oh, my God, just accelerating too quickly did it? Well, no, I need to accelerate quickly in order to do that little wheelie. Please make it. Please make it. And now I get... Now I have this part... Please, please, just go. Yes, gold. Okay, done. Come to think of it, I really can't imagine the River City Ransom characters in 3D. I don't think my brain can process that. Has anyone done that? River City Ransom 3D. Uh, kinda. There has been an attempt. Let me see if I can stick this on uh, on the stream for just a second. 
I'm sorry for this distraction. I just this does look kind of cool, and I want to show it. Oh, it's a web p. Of course, it's a web p. OBS does not make this super easy, unfortunately. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Yep, someone pulled it off. River City Ransom in 3D. I don't know if that would work in Smash. Well, maybe. It'd be kind of neat. All right, that's it. That's why I stopped the stream for. Okay, we have fire, we have water. Is there gonna be more of the level themed around that? Okay, there does appear to be more fire in the level. How much fire are we going to be on? Is there no water? Oh, there's... there. I, okay. I saw a pool of water. Unfortunately, there was a pipe in the way. landing. Bad jump. Look at the faults rack up. So, how fire works in these games is that if you go too slow for too long, you die. Okay, that pipe is right at, like, headbang level, so how do I avoid that? I guess I need to go faster? Yeah. Oh. I thought that was a pool of water. I guess it's not. I don't like this level. This is going to be a high fault level. I'm going to get bronze. And I keep invalidating the fire because I die immediately after of causes unrelated to the fire. That's another thing about su uh, about uh, Supercross. You can finish by bailing out. You can't do that in single player. That is not an option. All right, five faults, 130. I'll try it. I can gold all of these levels. I don't know about the next set, we'll have to see. Five faults? I already forgot. Man. And then I need to take this jump well. No, it's this jump. This is the water pipe. Okay, there is water in there if you're on fire. I have five faults. 
And there they are. There's all five of my faults. I'm a pretty great guy. Only five faults. That's a mean pipe. That's a pipe that steals lunch money. Is there... Oh, it's so... It's so hard to go under it. You lose so much speed, too. I think one person left when I started doing the River City Ransom thing. I don't think they cared about beat-em-up characters in Smash. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, that could have worked. I could have done a cool backflip. Failed to react in time. My bunny hops need work. I am not hopping like a bunny. This is the final fire. There is no water. I just need to get to the end, and I'm already... I, I just hit six faults, so that's it. What's my time? I'm under time. Time's good. One less fault. I just, I feel way safer going under that pipe. Oh, 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 good jump. Yes. Bad jump. Please, no. Ah. I'm sorry if my guttural, scre my guttural screams upset you. That's a lot of what the trial streams end up being. Alright, there we go. Gold. 45 seconds, no faults. Not happening. Alright, well there's cutting edge completed. Uh... Let's go back and forth. Let's go over to the HD levels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hard levels. And then we get to the extreme ones. Oh boy. I think these are new to Gold Edition. The, uh, the HD stuff. And I assume it's because Trials HD was not on the consoles that this was ported to, this Gold Edition. Like, this is basically Trials HD plus Trials Evolution is what Gold Edition is. That's my theory. My theory because I can't bother to look it up or anything. Ugh. Ew. Ugh. Oh, that's a weird bounce. So I can either hit that, or I can go real slow. Oh, hello. Oh, I have to go real slow. Down that whole section in order to have to spe the speed for this following section. I see.
any like really good Trials players can probably tell just by looking at my gameplay that I use the X button instead of the trigger. And they're pulling their hair out at the fact that I can never accelerate just a little bit. There we go. I'm using the trigger now. It may reach a point that I have to learn for the like the really difficult levels. All right, slow. Nope, not slow enough. All right, it was in fact slow enough. Wicker is asking for cartoon recommendations. I wonder what I should suggest. I feel like not enough people see Shaolin Showdown. That's one that is just kind of forgotten, despite being, in my opinion, a quality cartoon show. Okay, slow. Slow. That's mean. That's a mean level design. There we go. Alright. 43 seconds. I need 36 for platinum. Oh man, really? I can't even take an elevator right. Uh. This is a weird level. I wonder if these levels, these Trials HD levels, are even based off of the original Trials. Or if they're just a set of new levels for... If Trials HD was like its own new game for the Xbox 360. Because I played the original Trials, or at least the, you know, the... the executable port of it that Red Lynx did. And none of this feels familiar. This, none of this feels like Trials 1. Okay, I gotta maintain full speed on that, or I'll fall through. I, sh I shouldn't have immediately reset that one. I should have let my guy be stuck in the ceiling. Jack and Gavin, the uh, achievement hunter guys, got to be voices in the latest Trials, Trials Rising. Which is cool. I wish it happened in a, a game with a better UI. Boy, it's gonna be fun when I get to that one, isn't it? Me just complaining about that every single stream. Alright, full throttle. Go! Go! Oh! Oh, I hate this! Oh, wait! Oh, I was doing it wrong. I was being goof. This level feels more like a mini game than an actual level. All right. Well, now I know what I'm doing. I'll bet the platinum, if not platinum, then like the world record 
definitely doesn't go on the minecart. They just have this perfect like launch angle and speed to bounce on the on the on the tracks. It looks like something that would be incredibly difficult but possible. All right, here we go. Slow down. This is usually what the mini games in this game are like. They're doing stuff like that. Riding a vehicle or some shit. What are we doing? Out. Okay, but why does it break before I touch it? That's what I was worried about. I thought I was going to go flying down into the wood. Oh, okay. This is, uh, this is a gimmick level. This is a level just full of wacky shit that they did because they could. It's kind of cool, but it looks like it's going to be a, like a, just a pain to get like high level runs on. Oh, there's glass. I don't even know why I crashed there. I need to I need to bounce. I'm sorry. The learning curve for this level. And then there's, like, invisible flags everywhere. It's like Rayman. And we're doing the ball. Of course we're doing the balls. These are mini-games. Which I probably have done. I don't need to mention that, because I've probably done them all. I'm pretty sure I've done all the mini-games at least once on this stream. Yeah, I don't like this level. It's cool... But it could have been a bunch of separate levels instead of all putting all this stuff into one. All right, 12 faults. Silver. I need five faults in two minutes. You know what? I think I'm good. I think I'm good on the golds for these levels. Unless I get, like, all of them except for this one. Then I'll go back and I'll get gold. But, uh, yeah, that, that level's entire gimmick was dynamic objects. Which were, were novel and new in Trials HD. Which means we gotta use them abundantly. Oh, hello. Well, now what? And we're back to the bumps. We're back to awkward, bumpy rides. This is the part of the trial streams where it gets out that I'm not actually that good at these games. I'm only kinda good at these games. And kinda good isn't good enough for trials. I wonder how Bennett Foddy feels about these games. I wonder if he's ever played a trials games. Because really, when you boil down his arguments about games to the bare basics, all that, all that he really says in, in getting over it is that games are too easy now. Games aren't fun unless they're really challenging. That That's what his argument boils down to. Which, you know, great for him if he likes really, really hard games. 
you'd probably get a kick out of this. Bennett Foddy plays all of Crash 4. Have fun, champ. That took too many yet. That took too many attempts just getting up that wall. Okay, silver with 19 faults. Not proud of that. It was 102 yesterday, and it's down to a cool 90 degrees today. It's not that bad in here. I generally I keep the days like this. I keep the, the the house closed up so you know light doesn't get in. It is getting to the point that I would prefer to have the AC going though. If we can do three sets of levels this stream, then I'm reasonably confident I could do all the all the extreme levels. Like I could do two sets of those in the final stream. That didn't need that many attempts. See, now that I'm not going for gold, I'm just kind of playing sloppy. Okay, well, I was leaning all the way forward. How do you want me to lean to get under that? Back, I guess? Yeah, I gotta fully lean back in order to have clearance. You would think that leaning forward would, like, put you lower. Okay, it's not in this game. No, get up, please. Please, Mr. Trials Biker. You're so close. And now, now we start reaching the point where I start to get frustrated with the game, because now it's hard. Man. Some Trials Pro just laughed at me calling the, the, the hard levels hard. Bro, I got all Platinums on all the extreme tracks. You think hard is hard? Okay, Silver. Well, I'm still not getting any bronzes even on first attempts, so that's reassuring. I'm getting way more faults than the gold requires, though. That's not how you do that. Okay, so I need a low jump. I need a very precise low jump to get through that. Uh, hmm. I think I understand what this level's gimmick is. I think it's explosions.
Oh, hello. Now comes the part where I may pay the price for using a fast bike. No, I'm good. I'm fine. Oh boy. Gotta do some weird bunny hops. Really? Okay. Yep, I forgot this is Trials HD. We gotta play with physics. There we go, just nudge it. Oh, that last, I saw that. A little too late I saw that, but I avoided it. Making me do a little bunny hop at the end. Guessing this level will feature more explosions based on that sign at the start. Uh, is this what they want me to do? Yeah, that seems like the safest way to go about that. This backflip. Here's a nasty one. That's a jump they want me to make. We're also at the point where the levels are going to start requiring, like, practice. I'm waiting to get a bronze. I know it's going to happen. Man. I'm gonna get a bronze, and I'm gonna have to decide whether I want to go for all silvers, or at what point I'm ready to settle. Come on. Come on, wheelie faster. Go wheelie fast. I don't, I don't know how they want me to do this, actually. Okay, there we go. Needs a very a very precise bunny hop. This is a level that a lot of people would give up on. This is the level at which Jack says, well, Trials was fun. Time to play something else. Uh, I also gifted him, I think, the newest one? Trials Rising? before we realized that it may not have the may not have the multiplayer that we hoped it did so that might have been a waste of 5 bucks but maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll get some maybe he'll get some single player enjoyment out of it ideally i'd like to be wrong i'd like to find out that the at least the newest one does have Supercross online. They shut down the, tr the servers for all of the other Trials games. Like, it's not just this one, but the one after as well, Trials Fusion, also had, had its online servers shut down. Which is kind of a scummy way that companies try to force people to play the, play the newest one. That's also not a great sign about how the series is doing. Like, that could potentially mean, oh, not enough people are playing Trials Rising to matchmake. We have to get them off of the previous games and force them into the new one. Oh, there's our first bronze today. 20 faults. I'm good. 
I'm just I I'm just gonna keep going. I'm still aiming to complete three sets of levels today, which means we have one more after this set. Oh, that's explosives. I wonder how Wicker will do with these games. Maybe he'll be a natural. Maybe he'll be born to bike. I gifted him a uh, few games that I've streamed just because I think he'd get a kick out of them. I gave him uh, Paperball, Rock of Ages, and uh, Trials. So he'll probably stream all of those in the sometime later this year, I would imagine. There's a couple of his streams that I have felt inclined to make highlight videos of on the Highlights channel, but uh, they're mostly games that either I got for or more games that I was on for, so might have uh, might have like uh, Wind Waker highlights eventually. silly motorcycle man and your silly screams all right silver king of the hill how bad is this gonna be the final hard level in trials hd i wonder how much hd was it was an xbox live arcade game so it couldn't have been like crazy expensive Oh boy. This level is going to be about obtuse mountain climbing, isn't it? Am I going to have to change bikes? Am I? Is this going to be the point where I finally benefit from like a slower, grippier bike? Surely they're putting their, their, like, the hardest obstacle first, right? It's all downhill from here. I don't like this slope. Well, I can land down there if I need to. It's not ideal. Is that? Oh no, this isn't a route. This is the. This is death. They just the explosives that were supposed to kill me, just they went off already. I also just hit the start over button. God damn it! Now I got to do this again. This requires the thing I was talking about, where you really focus on your back wheel in order to build enough speed to get over that pile of boxes. The problem is that I keep hitting the boxes with my front wheel and losing speed as a result.
Come on. Come on. There we go. I feel like the final levels in Trials Rising, no, Trials Fusion, will be a little less mean than this. In which case, I'm glad I didn't gift someone this one. I like it. I like this game. Especially because, like, I'm gonna, gonna make the complaint again, the UI is very simple compared to the other Trials games. I like that about evolution. I don't love these HD levels as much. You know what these feel like? These feel like user levels. The HD levels, where uh, the, the, the level creator just kind of did a lot of things because they can, rather than because they should. might be being, like, just a little bit bitter because I'm losing. This game is too hard. Why you make the game so hard? Please. Please. This is it. This is where all of my, my attempts go. So I need to do a bunny hop while going up uphill in order to catch my rear tire on those boxes and not lose speed. I think... I think that's what I need to do. Yes? Finally! Okay, we did it. That sucked. Cleveland, tipping back over a ledge in Trials. Now, 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 now! Please. Please, just make the jump. Who's the intern that put this ramp facing the wrong way? That's not the end. No, it's not the end. Oh, I see what they want me to do. God damn it. I have to go on this. And I have to speed up just enough. There we go. Please, 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 wheelie. Yes! No! Ah, that didn't count! Well, you know what? We finished it. That's what counts. 25 faults. I couldn't even do that. Was that the first one? No, that was the last one. Okay. It would have been cool to catch these while they had user levels present. Maybe I would have done a stream where I played a few of them, but uh, now I can't. Alright, so let me do these last batch of hard levels, and then next time, we will do the two batches of extreme levels. God help me.
ever since you started sharing that FF music, I've been on FF Kick again. I've seen you've been playing a bunch of different Final Fantasy games. Are you playing them all at the same time? I saw you in like 3 and 4 and 6. The only music I actually posted was One Winged Angel because I've been going through my uh, my list of unknown music from like LimeWire forever ago, and one of them is a version of One Winged Angel that we we cannot for the life of us track down. I identified a bunch of my stuff, but there's some that just aha just wasn't able to catch, and so we still have no idea where it comes from. Early internet mysteries. So, welcome to the Hall of Saws. You may remember it from Sly 2. You know what? Now, this... This looks like a more believable lumber yard than the Hall of Saws. I don't like this jump. This is a mean jump. I'm trying to do the bunny hop and I'm not succeeding. Obviously. There we go. I'm at the point where just every time I reach a checkpoint, it's a success. This definitely had these levels definitely have a much more classic feel of just pure just motorcycle riding as opposed to whatever wacky shit Trials HD was doing with those last set of levels. I have been distracted by uh, my, like, the past half year for me has been all Animal Crossing, Pal World, and two Zelda games. Because I've been playing Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I'm finally about done with all that, and I'm getting back into other games. I need to pick up Dragon Quest again. I started to play that series through, but I stopped in the middle of two. Which is kind of a weak point. Apparently three is the first really good one. And I was looking forward to them being remade, but uh, unfortunately they're being remade in the style that I can't stand. I, I, I'm sorry. That, that HD 2D stuff looks just very ugly to me. I'm happy for people who like it, who are, will get a kick out of it. I, I, I would have liked a more normal remake. But that's okay. I still have the I still have the originals, which I've never played anyway, so Dragon Quest 3 will be a new game for me. Please. This slope. I don't like this slope. This is one of those hills that I kind of have to, like, just hold forward and book it. I have to lean forward and book it. But I also have to do something fancy at the top if I want to make it over the pipe. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I keep thinking if I hold... Okay, yeah, I was. I kept thinking if I just held forward off of that little ramp, I would bounce off the wall and lose my grip. That was not the case.
I see a couple new people. And man, I wish they came in at the start of the stream when I was playing the easier levels and it looked like I was good at this game. Come on. Come on. Pretty please. Finagle it. Get up. Just get up. Just do it. Will yourself te telekinetically to the top of the ramp. There we go. Alright, another bronze. I wonder if there's anything more to unlock in this level. Because this, the extreme tracks, this was previously the Trials Trophy, was right here at 235. And I'm way past that because I golded everything previously. So I wonder if there's anything left to unlock in this game. I miss 2000s music. Yeah? I don't have any particularly strong opinions on the music of this game. Music of this era could feel, like, kind of edgy to me, but, uh... I also don't know how I'm going to feel about the ne about the next game with its 2010s, like... I don't even know what I don't even know what genre I'll call the trials uh, the trials fusion music. It's not quite that like uh, epic sweeping maximum reverb YouTube stuff that's taken off in the past ten years or so. The lordifying, as Jack calls it. Am I going down? No, I'm not going down. Definitely do not want to go down. Man, they can't even put me right in front of this obstacle. They gotta put a jump first. I think my brother listens to uh, music of the of the 2000s. He got into the uh, the new metal trend when that was happening in school. When we were in school, that's what was happening. Please, you're so close. Get up. Yes, yes, yes! I think I'm a 90s music guy. I, I listen to I listen to about everything, but I, I as far as like the popular trends go. I think I like popular music of the 90s most. Which is to say Tony Hawk soundtracks. Like that kind of music. Wasn't the only thing that was going on that was popular in the 90s, but... Come on. Get up. Get up. Will it. I hit the ball! I hit the start over everything button by have it again. Man. I knew it was going to happen eventually. It's alright. It's an opportunity to do better. Grunge is definitely more 90s. Obviously the big, like what pushed that into the mainstream was Nirvana, because then 
All the record CEOs said, make, make me some bands to copy this. Si sign, sign them on. Get them on board. We gotta put this stuff everywhere. Which led to, you know, a lot of the stuff like the Tony Hawk style of music being popular in the 90s. Two thousands is in uh, NT's Naughty's music. I tend to think of stuff like Lincoln Park. Hello, hello, please, no. Well, I did do a lot better that time. This is a very precise series of jumps. I guess. I don't know if I can make this in a single... in a single bound. It looks like it's probably too far. This was definitely the stream. Like, the difference between the start of the stream and, and now. I was getting all golds on the first set of levels we did. Now I'm doing shit with 30 faults. Okay, I'm gonna go back enough that I have, like, a little bit of, a, a little bit of this ramp to go off of. There we go. Yes. I'm going to die immediately. I'm going to die at every checkpoint. That's just how these levels are going to go. We a cutscene for this one. I missed the forklift. Oh no, never mind. I'm supposed to be in a crate. Is this a parody? Am I going to be handled by top men? Yep. silly sense of humor. New tournament unlocked. Yeah, this is the this is the point where I, I stop dreaming of like getting all golds in this game. Like even off stream. I don't I don't think I would have the I don't think I would have the time or, or the courage to attempt this. There we go. All right, first checkpoint. Hey, we have, like, uh, we have AI Sponge, right? We have AI-generated cartoon episodes. How long before we have AI Let's Plays? Do those exist yet? 
I guess you would have to program an AI to play the game as well as just, like, talk in order to do that. I don't think we're there yet. It'll happen, though. You know in ten years, people are going to be watching AI Squidward playing Trials. This level is not as bad as the previous ones have been. I'm still up to seven faults, but it could be a lot worse. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, I got silver on that one. Oh, I'll take it. I could even get gold if I really wanted to. Unfortunately, I don't really want to. Flooding. That's what's going on. That's this level's gimmick. I see. And here I thought I was going to take my sweet old time. another game that I was in the middle of and I just kind of fell off of was the Tony Hawk. I was planning to make an attempt to get all the all the achievements in uh, the one plus two on Steam. But that's another one that has some uh, a couple of achievements that require online stuff. Which I don't think they're particularly difficult online achievements, but I, I just kind of don't want to deal with them anyway. So that has been, uh, that has disincentivized me from continuing to play that a little bit. Alright, three more. This will be on the shorter side as far as stream goes. Streams go. But it's 90 degrees to get today and I want to get my AC back on, so that's okay. Oh, we on an assembly line. Uh, Darian. I, maybe I've asked this before. I know you're not, like, the biggest Nintendo guy. Are you... Do you think you'll get the, the next Switch, or the Switch successor? I guess it'll probably depend on, like, what it is. It would be baffling if it was not another handheld hybrid. As successful as the Switch was, if they just put out a normal console after that. The ideal would be if it was backwards compatible with Switch and ran Switch games better than the Switch does. That would probably be the, the best decision they could make. I like this jump. Maybe I just need to book it. Yeah, I just needed to book it. I was overthinking again.
All right, 13 faults, silver medal. I'm mostly a Nintendo guy. Huh. Because you own, like, every console right now. You just, you just don't have a PC. Well, you do have a PC, but that's not the main thing you play games on. I'll probably, I'll probably wait to see what games are on the Switch successor. If it is backwards compatible with Switch games, I might consider getting it immediately, but... I'm not such a stickler per, for performance that I'm going to spend, you know, $400 to run Hyrule Warriors better. Hey, I made it! Checkpoint! Also, if I really wanted to, I could I, I could just use Yuzu, but uh, I'm kind of looking forward to when uh, Switch is supported on Retro Achievements, which I know is redundant because it's Retro Achievements, and Switch is a current console, but uh, I just, I like having achievements for things. Retro Achievements has, has been so cool for give, giving achievements to Nintendo games. Well, it did all sorts of old games, not just Nintendo games, but, uh... Unfortunately, GameCube is not supported on Retro Achievements. GameCube and Wii are not, uh, are not supported yet, so... That basically means I only have two Zelda games that I w I've been able to play. It was, uh, Ocarina and Majora. And Zelda being my favorite series, that, that sucks a little bit. Achievements for the rest of them would be very cool. Uh, hello. I, I got the popo on me? Are they just shining a light? Is that all they do? Oh, there's a lot of the, there's a lot of like universal stuff that Nintendo could do, but just hasn't. The way that uh, friends work on Switch is a step up from previous consoles, but man, it's still it's still pretty cumbersome compared to every other console. The, just stuff like friend integration. And we're still using friend codes all this time later. There's no crossplay on most any Switch games because the Switch is so underpowered. I wonder how many Trials games are on Switch. You know, I swear I asked that question last stream. I'm probably repeating a lot of the conversation points that I had last stream. Just because there's there's not a whole lot going on that's topical. The world of gaming is in waiting mode right now. As we wait for the next Switch, and for, I, I don't know what else is going on, honestly. Metroid Prime 4, everyone's waiting for that. Waiting for Silk Song. I'm waiting for Spyro 4. I want that announcement. Okay, maybe if I wheelie, I'll be able to build up enough speed. This is a deceptively difficult jump. This jump does not look like it should be as hard as it is. Gaming PCs are like over a thousand dollars. Well, if if they're pre-built, I guess if you're hiring someone to build them. A decent one will generally run you about a thousand or a little less if you're frugal and lucky. Assuming that you make it yourself.
which is about on par with, uh, you know, a current gen non Nintendo console, plus the amount of years that you would play online or pay for online with it. Do you think they're going to make Spyro 4 insanely difficult? No. Because Crash was like, they when they made Crash 4, Crash was already known for being difficult. They were playing to what they thought their fans' fan base was. Which maybe they were partially correct. I don't know how many people liked the direction of Crash 4. Even hardcore Crash fans like me, most people generally agree it was, too, it was unreasonably hard, and they probably would have benefited from toning it down a bit. But Spyro has never been, like, known for difficulty like that. It's just kind of a... a you know, a happy little collectathon. I guess the difference in with uh, Spyro 4 would just be like what kind of collectibles they have and how they go about them. Uh, Nick Wickersham, his favorite Spyro game is Spyro 1 because it is a it's purely a collectathon. You just go around and collect stuff. Whereas Spyro 2 and 3 were more mission-based. A lot of the uh, the dragon eggs and the orbs were uh, tied to mini-games. Things you... or favors you had to do for NPCs, things like that. Given that that's two-thirds of the game, of the series, then I would assume that Spyro 4 would probably go with that formula. There's full of, there's full of missions to do. Why is- why is this difficult? It's a fucking quarter pipe. Just hold forward at the top, man. Do a nollie if you want to. Okay, maybe if I land on my front tire and balance such that my weight is shifted forward. Well, that didn't work. Crash 4 is the Dark Souls 2 of the Crash Bandicoot series. It is kind of funny that Dark Souls 2 made exactly the same mistake. Hey, people think our game is hard. It's everywhere. It's a meme on the internet. We gotta make it even harder. That's what the fans want. All right, here's our final level of the stream, Badge of Trials. How bad is this going to be? Uh, 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 uh. Uh. It's like when a chat goes emotes only mode. I'm in grunts only mode. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. Let me post one of the new emotes. Not for any reason, like, at all. I just want to. There he is. Oh, it doesn't animate on the stream. Okay. Well, I guess that was expected. That's disappointing. The animated emotes only work on, uh, they only work on Twitch, not on Restream. Does, uh, Darian, does the, does the YouTube stream play ads during the stream? I, Twitch does that now that we're affiliates. I, I don't know if YouTube does or not. I'm just curious. It does? Okay. 
Not that it matters. People use ad blockers on both anyway. Though I've had heard heard those words of uh, I've heard the the murmurs of uh, Google is slowing down your Chrome performance if you have ad blockers running on YouTube. I don't know if that's true or not. Hasn't stopped me from running them. Sony released Sly 1 on the PS Classics lineup, quickly became the most popular game in the lineup. I think they're gauging interest in the series again. What a shame that the movie was cancelled based on the performance of the Ratchet & Clank movie. It being... I guess a more story-oriented series than, uh, than Ratchet is. Definitely a more character-oriented series. Ratchet is a whole lot more carried by the gameplay, as opposed to, like, the story necessarily being the deepest thing ever. And what, what, is enjoy about, what is enjoyable about the characters is mostly just, like, jokes. Most of the characters in Ratchet & Clank exist for some comedic purpose, rather than for, like, deep lore or anything. Not that Sly Cooper lore is that deep by comparison, but, uh... They definitely do more with the characters in Sly Cooper, at the very least. So it is more... More befitting a movie adaptation. Rift Apart was a great game. I'm waiting for a good sale of it, and it's not getting any good sales, which must mean it was successful. Because they still want people to pay full price for it. Not that I'm anywhere near playing it anyway. I don't know if we'll stream the Ratchet games past Deadlocked. But uh, I do want to eventually, just on my own, play more of the games. Because it's one of my favorite series. I love Ratchet & Clank. I just, I just never got around to the ones past the first four. Uh, have you played any of the Tony Hawk games besides 1 plus 2? Or was that your first one, Darian? If you've never played any others and you have the ability to emulate PS2, I would recommend 4. I think it's a lot of fun. Also, you know, Django Fett's in it. Everyone's favorite Star Wars character. There is no Star Wars character more popular than Django Fett. Baby Yoda, get that shit out of here. Baby Django. That is what makes it so, like, unfortunate that they weren't able to do Tony Hawk 3 plus 4. Is the ga games of that era, the PS2, GameCube, and uh, Xbox generation, those are the ones that are now the most inaccessible. Because they're difficult to emulate. And they're not generally available in most places. Namely because they're, they're big games. That's when games started being on discs. So Nintendo's not going to put GameCube games on Nintendo Online because they're like multiple gigs each. They're, it's not feasible to download them. It's unfortunate. I, I hope that we reach a point where those games are more playable to people in the in the next few years. Anyway, wow, I didn't do great on that. Death Valley, a lot of bronzes. One, two, three bronzes. I guess it's not that many. So, only 40%. Not amazing. Uh, next time we do the really just the shitty levels. I'm not looking forward to that. But, uh, they'll take as long as they take. I'll have to tackle the, la the last two level batches of fully extreme levels on the next trial stream. That's it for today, though. I'm gonna turn my AC on, and I might be back with another stream tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. I, I got stuff to do tomorrow. For uh, I, got, I got a weekend trip coming up. We'll still definitely uh, probably be back to stream with Jack on Sunday, but uh, we'll see. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.